Peace, power, and protection, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your bonus reading. This is actually going to be a shorter video. This is for some of you out there who prefer the shorter reading. So let's go ahead and dive in without further ado. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood here in North Carolina. It's getting hot again. It kind of cooled off after the hurricane scare last week. And it was like, literally, I was waking up to like 60 degree weather and, you know, the highs was in the 80s. And now we were right back up into the high 90s. And it's feeling a little sauna like <laughs> but um it's still a beautiful day in the neighborhood any day that you wake up is a beautiful blessing and um i will you all are uh excited to see what's coming out in these cards so without further ado let's proceed with the read beloveds before we go any further let's do some house cleaning uh, shay I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo, beautiful souls. So what we have um, on the time clock, it is 110. So 110 reduces to 2. And we have Sly and the Family Stone playing uh, If You Want Me to Stay. So the first thing that struck to me was Sly. Uh, when you think of someone that's Sly, that's someone that could be kind of calculating, someone that could be kind of cunning, uh, maybe even a little manipulative um, in their actions. So I do feel like, you know, if some of you all are uh, anticipating, not even anticipating, but planning uh, to take action or to leave someone or something, a job, a person, a relationship, a town. Um, someone could be very meticulous in trying to convince you to stay. So I feel spirit is really telling you with that number two, uh, choose wisely. Two is a number of uh, duality, but it can speak to you perhaps being in that two of swords uh, where you're trying to make a decision. You're trying to make a conscious decision. However, you're confused, you're stuck in two minds, you're conflicted. So I feel like it could be because you're dealing with a sly energy. Uh, this could be a family member because it is sly and the family stone. Um, I do feel like spirit is telling you to stand your ground and to take some time to meditate to get something straight because you could be uh, doing something based off of um, your emotions, whereas spirit is telling you you need to trust your intuition in that instance so that's what i'm picking up intuitively of course we're going to see what the cards have to say um i always like to start off with the numerology deck and that's what we will do today beloveds so let's see what we got coming in going out on with my beloved scorpios so what did i say we got the eight this is 26 8 and this is love partnership so as i said i was picking up this was dealing with either love it could deal with work it could deal with friendship there's a decision that you're having to make and it looks like you're choosing to walk away from a situation because it says if you want me to stay is what the song um said uh what the song was singing so um i mean what uh sly was singing so if you want me to stay 
uh, and with Sly, I do feel like someone is trying to be convi you know, con uh, cunning. I just saw a 444 on the clock. So your angels are protecting you and surrounding you at this time. Uh, that 444, four, four times three breaks down to 12. So that 12 is really about a contemplative state because that deals with the hangman. So I do feel like you're going to see something from a different perspective or a different vantage point. Um, and I feel like that's what's going to uh, you know, encourage this decision for you to walk away. Because when I see this card, I always feel like it's like the eight of cups. Um, and it's like you've poured into something long enough to uh, discover that you're not fulfilled. Um, there's no reciprocity. You may feel like you've, you know, given more than you were receiving. And it's just not enough anymore to keep you there. So I feel like you're walking away from what doesn't serve you, from whatever was making you feel emotionally bankrupt. And you're walking into what I feel is your peace and your happiness. So let's see what we have on the split. So on the split, we have this four, perseverance, and this 26, eight. So spirit is showing that you're absolutely... Uh, going to overcome a situation. You've grown. You've grown not only uh, from this experience, but you've also grown to love yourself more. So love is an inside job. A lot of times people uh, feel like they are to love others um, and then the love will be returned. No, you have to love yourself first. Feel complete within yourself and then that is a healthy type of love. It's not a, you know, codependent type of love. So this eight and this four breaks down the same 12 that I was picking up on um, earlier is, you know, when you're in that contemplative state, you do have a tendency to, you know, see things from a different perspective, a different vantage point. And I feel like a relationship has made you really realize or discover what your actual love language is you've grown you've healed from past pains wounds and traumas and this is a shine a sign of you growing because this is the 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 greatest um love of all is loving thyself um so i do feel like you know walking away has made you um really more attractive in someone's eyes um someone may be seeing you as you know stronger maybe they had a miss uh you know perception of who you were and in this move and you moving the way you are um it's it's made them look at you differently perhaps so let's tap on tap in and right now we have tonight is the night and this is by betty wright so you could be dealing with someone named Betty or Wright. Maybe this is someone who um, we got spiritual career. So some of you all may hear some sort of good news pertaining a job. Maybe you'll get a job offer today uh, with tonight is the night. Uh, maybe some of you all will get booked for, um, you know, your services. Maybe you'll start seeing some sales come through, uh, you know, on, in your shop. But I feel like with, with uh, Betty Wright, tonight is the night. This is just showing that there's some sort of uh, powerful movements forward because this says 1978, and that breaks down to 88, which breaks down to 16, which breaks down to 7. So that's like the chariot energy, and I feel like it's because you've grown. So perhaps whatever you've experienced in your past, whatever you've persevered from, has you know prepared you for some sort of spiritual career. So let's tap in. So what is... Let's get some messages from my beloved Scorpios. What is the overall energy for my beloved Scorpio spirit? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection from my beloved Scorpios. And I'm going to pull a card um, from two different, you know, from several different decks so we could get some different type of energy. So we have 87 synchronicity. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Some of you all may be seeing like. Angel numbers 1111, 444, 222, 111, uh, 888, 777, 666. Some of you all may be also, um, you know, having certain uh, divine interventions. Maybe certain animal totems are bumping to you or you're bumping into them or you're seeing them frequently. Maybe you are hearing certain songs. Maybe you're having certain sensations. Maybe certain dreams. Maybe you're having ringings in the ears. Maybe you're finding feathers. Um, whatever the case may be, I feel like those are signs of change, something moving um, in a different direction. The train is going by right now, and that train represents 
travel. So some of you all could definitely be moving away, um, creating distant space, creating a sacred space, perhaps um, after you make a diff, you know, make this decision to leave a certain situation or person behind. What we have here is individuality, the number 11, and this deals with justice. So I do feel like you're getting your just due in making this decision. Remember, we started off the reading with two. So this is a two right here. Um, and so you are choosing yourself. It's like you're choosing your indiv independence, which is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your overall happiness. I feel that there was a cycle where you were codependent, which is why I was picking up that, you know, that power that you took back and walking away from someone or something that was leaving you emotionally bankrupt or made you feel um, unappreciated, devalued. Uh, you're walking away and choosing you, and that is the choice you're making. I feel like that's what spirit encouraged you to do. We also have this number seven, which I spoke to is personal growth. So this is, you know, like you really um, evolving and, and getting to a space where you're trusting your own intuition before you make decisions or before you do things. Because remember, with that indecision I was picking up with that number two, where you were stuck in two minds, I was saying that trusting your intuition is what's going to, you know, free you from a situation where you may felt um, like you were being held back or where you may have felt like there were, um, <clears throat> you know, something that kept you feeling stagnant. But this personal growth is showing that you have leveled up. I just saw 1111. So I feel like you're moving towards uh, what's best for you. That 1111 breaks down the four. It's the vibration of the four, which is the heart chakra. It's associated with the heart chakra. And it's also associated with the emperor in to a traditional tarot. So I do feel like spirit is saying that your personal growth is leading you right into um, the arms of a divine masculine or the arms of a divine feminine. This 11, this uh, 11 breaks down to two, this seven breaks down um, altogether to nine. So this is saying that you're in that uh, energy as someone who's single, independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, someone who has rebuilt their empire on their own. And I feel like with this seven, it's also saying that you're highly intuitive or psychic. Uh, you could be a clairaudient, a clairvoyant. Um, you could be a tel, you know, teleth, uh, telepathic. Um, you could be a scryer. You could be a tarot reader. You have some sort of spiritual uh, connectivity to your higher self, to that you know ability to tap into that God frequency. And I feel that's the reason why that spiritual career card showed up because I feel whatever you've experienced in your relationships or in your life in general, it has been preparing you uh, to come into alignment with what your purpose is. And perhaps you may find someone or meet someone that's also... Um, on the same frequency and vibration because I am getting wish fulfillments with this as well. I'm also seeing that you're very guarded when it comes to people. You're not very trusting of people. You go with what feels right in your spirit. Um, if you see certain red flags, you don't allow them in. So you do have boundaries set, which is very necessary, especially if you felt unappreciated or devalued in your former relationships, you're going to emerge someone who's going to protect themselves this, you know, in this next junction of your life. So I am getting, you know, guardedness, but I'm also getting a sense of you being very stable and self-sufficient, someone who's very strong, someone who's also very skilled. You've been honing your skills, mastering your craft. You've been keeping busy and that energy in and of itself is going to um, absolutely encourage uh, success and prosperity and abundance in your life. So let's pull some cards from which is wisdom. I'm going to get the energy for who or what you're attracting to you. So as I'm speaking of you attracting abundance and success, we have prosperity on the bottom of the deck. So who or what you're attracting is prosperity. And this is a based on the seeds that you've sowed in the past. And as I said, you've been working very hard uh, towards a certain goal. You've been mastering your craft and therefore you are assured uh, this prosperity, this expansion, this opulence in your life. I feel business will be thriving um, and we still have Betty Wright singing, uh, tonight is the night. Um, so some of you may get that call. I feel like there's a wish coming through true for you. Um, if you've been hoping to land a certain contract in business, you're going to land it. If you've been, you know, um, hoping to, 
uh, you know, receive news about a promotion, you're going to receive it. Um, I feel tonight is the night of saying that maybe someone's finalizing the paperwork. Um, if you don't hear from said uh, job, uh, you know, tonight, I feel like tonight is the night that the paperwork is getting wrapped up, uh, that things are coming through. Um, so, you know, continue praying, continue, you know, um, speaking it into existence. We have Nas, and this is called My Bible. Uh, and Bible is an acronym for basic instructions before leaving earth. So I do feel like a lot of you have been praying fervently, um, you know, been manifesting, calling and speaking into existence what you desire. And I feel it is materializing, especially with this prosperity card. This is like a golden ticket. Uh, golden opportunities will be presenting themselves. So let's tap in, beloveds. So let's see what we have. So who or what is our beloved Scorpio? So tap into them with a message of peace, power, and protection, my beautiful beautiful Scorpios who or what is my beloved Scorpios attracting to them let me get a message of peace power and protection I've already shuffled my cards prior to the reading I've cleansed them with some Palo Santo so we have on the bottom of the deck we have witches um which uh, watchtower pardon me and this is summer so summer is actually you know wrapping up we're actually coming into the fall season and I'm only going to take the cards that are in the upright these cards are face down I'm going to place them back in the deck that's what spirit is telling me to do so I want to be nosy I see dedication I see incubation I see cycles and I see respect yeah okay so that's beautiful so I do feel like, you know, um, as I said, you've kind of been in hermit mode, just kind of focusing on yourself. But what you're attracting to you is you have protection. And remember, we saw 444 uh, in the reading there. So that 444 does show that your angels are around you. Your angels are protecting you and guiding you. Um, we also have homecoming. So this homecoming is like, you know, the hearth. This is like someone could feel that you are like the home, the hearth. Um, this also could be very indicative of you returning back to yourself. Um, you re, you know, returning to you, uh, you know, your relationships, when you're in relationships, you kind of lose yourself. You kind of, you know, prioritize other people and put other people and things before you. But I feel like with this is saying that, um, you are coming back to yourself and look what else we have. So this is fulfillment. This is chalice. So this shows that, you know, you, as I said, you got to pour into your own cup before you can, you know, attract someone that's going to pour into your cup before you, uh, meet someone, uh, that's going to speak your love language. You got to know what that love language is. And I feel that this cup represents not only, uh, great healing that you have done on yourself because one is the magic number. It has to start with you first and foremost. But I feel most importantly, whoever you're attracting, this is someone that will absolutely speak your love language. This is absolutely someone that will be attentive, affectionate, and, and also um, passionate about you, loving and, and caring and considerate. I see here with this home and hearth that you and this person may build a family, a nucleus. Um, you may also uh, find yourself being, you know, proposed to, or someone is coming in with commitment or coming in very intentional, uh, with this cup. This is like, you know, a new opportunity, a new chance at love, uh, someone being ready to love. And this person feels that you are the home and the hearth. So they do feel like you have that maternal or paternal, um, nurturing quality that they look for in their mate. And, um, it's very attractive. She's over there making noise. I had to <laughs> squirt. So it's like this person is definitely seeing you as someone very nurturing, very loving, and very, um, very much domestic. You know, down to earth. You have a healing quality about yourself. It's something that's very attractive. So let's see what we have. How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So we have resourcefulness so they do feel that you're practical and resourceful as i said very grounded someone that they can invest in uh this is someone that will support you someone that will be your rock uh this is also someone that would be willing to compromise in a relationship they feel that you would also do the same but they see that you are a go-getter you know when i hear resourceful it's like they see that you have that 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 um that uh eye of the tiger like you you go after what you want uh what i see here is healing so they do feel like you're a healer as i said nurturing you can see healing you can see resourcefulness and this is the number 33 
So um, 33 reduces to six. Six is associated with the lovers. So they could envision themselves marrying you. This could be like a past life love. This could be someone that definitely feels you are like the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. You know, like there's some something special about this connection. So let's tap in. So let's tap in. How does this person or how does this situation feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message. Ooh. All right. So a card just fell and I feel like it shows itself and I want to take it. Justice. So they want justice. They want justice in the situation. I also feel they want to speak the truth. You know, this this is like the sun on the crown of um, Sekhmet. So the sun represents truth. It represents clarity. It's like they see you for who you are. And the 17 breaks down to eight, you know, so that eight is, you know, a number of karma. So they do feel, you know, like maybe something between the two of you. This could be a karmic, you know, that... Uh, they see that you're now having some sort of justice or maybe they want justice in a situation that they feel they may have been wrong because what's coming back to mind is that sly, um, if you want me to stay. So I feel like there's someone perhaps that's trying to keep you confused. If you look at both of these, um, it looks like cheetahs, but these, these are our cats. Maybe they're lions. But they're both faced in two different directions, which could speak to, you know, being torn, you know. But it also represents you needing to trust your own intuition. You know, they see you getting justice in a situation. And that 17 is, is a, the number of karma. They also see you getting stronger or you are stronger. And maybe that's what their karma is, is the fact that, you know, you've broken free from something. Because you're protected, you know, these cats are very impervious to threat. Cats, you know, represent, you know, they're very intuitive. They also teeter between the spiritual realm and this, um, you know, earthly realm. So they do feel and know that you are highly intuitive. You're also um, very wise. And strong. I get strength. And we have Ma'at. It says truth and fairness. This is what's hidden. So what did I say about someone speaking the truth? I feel you're definitely getting your just due from whatever you've experienced in your past, Scorpios. It's like karma is, you know, it's like whatever went, you know, terribly in the past. I feel like it's going to work out in your favor. And we have Lauren Hill, Mystery of Iniquity. And she said, telling you it all falls down what is she saying what is this I don't, I don't know i don't know but it, it's the lyrics and it says something about telling you it all falls down so perhaps there was a lot of illusions and look what flew out ill use of your ions illusions so th th that's what fell that's why you're getting justice and you're getting fairness something is happening happening fairly and justly and the truth is coming out because it wasn't fair if you're not if you're unaware of something if someone's keeping secrets if someone's being sly and conniving if someone is being calculating it's not fair to you because you may just be operating trusting someone to be who they proclaim to be giving someone the, you know almost like that face of value and whoever this was this karmic they definitely were being deceptive i feel deception we have whatever isn't growing is dead live now that's what you're doing now that's why you're guarded because whatever you was dealing with, it wasn't growing. It was stagnant. You felt stagnant. And that's why you started to, you know, make decisions that were difficult to walk away. So what's hidden in the energy is we have what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, and that's exactly what, you know, I was picking up. is like, you know, whatever you've persevered from, it was designed to be difficult to teach you those lessons. It says, I want to hear your voice again. I miss you. So remember, if you want me to stay, sly in the family stone, someone may come back saying things. And remember, Mercury retrograde always tends to bring past people back to the, you know, 
into your life. And what people fail to realize is those are tests. So what we have here is the nine of cups. That's what I was picking up here with this 11 and the seven is like, you've learned to love yourself. This is the card I call de la soul, me, myself, and I, because that's what you're focused on. Others may perceive this as selfish, but this is you being very focused on, you know, pouring into your own cup, making sure you're happy because you've spent a lot of time catering to the needs of other people and not of yourself. And you saw where that got you heartbroken, disappointment. There's definitely this energy of, you know, recovery, you know, taking onus, accountability, healing, and there's offers, you know, this could even be a new idea, a new project that you're working on, you know, that's keeping you busy. There goes the star, wish fulfillment. This is you turning pain into power, transmuting all of that negative ish and turning not only your pain into power, but into a superpower, because now you've learned that you are and possess, you know, this alchemical force. You've learned you're an alchemist. You've learned you're the magi. So as you set your intentions, you can manifest. You can manifest your desired outcomes. And um, that's a beautiful energy. So what we have here is the uh, queen of wands and the four of swords. So this is you reflecting back, you know, perhaps reflecting back on certain situations. Uh, but you are protected. Maybe you have someone looking at you. Uh, another, you know... Um, person that could be like in a secret competition um this is a very like controlling energy you know this this queen of wands knows she's attractive um and feels she could get whatever she want you know so this could this is a younger energy i don't know if some of you feminines were dealing with um some sort of third party situation where there was a, a fire sign dealing with this uh, type of energy where they were it's like what that once they get fixated on something they go after it they're very passionate um and they're also very assertive so they typically you know tend to believe that they can get whatever whomever they want if you were dealing with someone like that i definitely am feeling like they keep their eyes on you like this is someone kind of watching you from a distance perhaps that's why you have this protection card here as well um maybe someone that you were dealing with in the past got caught up with this you know, queen of wands, you know, whatever, you know, um, I feel like what, whomever thought this person was a better option realized quickly that it wasn't because they was stuck in agony. I feel like this queen of wands just kind of plays with people's emotions. They're not really committed to anything or anyone. They just like attention. They just like to be seen. It's almost like an attention whore. You know, they just want you to be googly eyed over them. They, they have a very short attention span. They're not really interested in long term. They like to be able to come and go as they please. So maybe someone uh, thought that things were going to be um, more serious with this queen of wands if they abandoned or rejected your love. Uh, in the past. And that that's why we saw that nine of swords. I feel you're very guarded. I feel you're definitely guarding yourself, protecting yourself, standing your ground, speaking your truth and not putting up with the nonsense. You're not even bring allowing any past people coming back. There was a lot of secrets, you know, pertaining or involving this queen of wands. There's a lot of things that you still don't know to this day, Scorpios. Uh, and there goes the eight of cups. You walked away. So that's what you walked away from. I feel like you walked away. Walked away from people, places, and things that weren't serving you. Or people who were trying to control and manipulate and puppeteer your life. People who were sly, you know. And that Queen of Wands could get very attitudinal, very, you know, upset, angry, um, passionate about what they want. They could even get very controlling. Um, you know, they have control issues. So what we have as the outcome, the Eight of Cups. <laughs> the Eight of Cups, I just cut the deck, shuffled it. You know, all of that and the eight of cups flew up. So you are walking away. And that's what I was getting with that 26 love partnership that we saw in the numerology deck. So this is what you're doing. The outcome is you're walking away from what doesn't serve you because you know your worth now. Um, even if you didn't in the past, it's like you've learned. And some of you had to learn the hard way, um, but you learned, you know, and, and that's what the perseverance is all about. It's not about, you know, uh, what your experience is just about the lessons you've up. Uh, you're, you learn from the experience. That's the whole, that's the most important part is what did you learn? Are you going to go out here and repeat 
that cycle all over again because that's the problem most people have is like they jump out of one toxic relationship one codependent relationship into another one because they still haven't healed haven't done any work haven't done any self-reflection and then they're looking for something different and when sometimes the issue is within you it's not always the other people because we attract what we are so it's like people have to be real with themselves and I feel like that's what you did you took time out this 11 and the 7 is the 9 that's the number of the hermit you took time out to focus on being single to be independent to focus on what you require you know to heal thyself we just saw the four of swords that's a very you know um very self-reflective energy because it's about recovering and recuperating from past pains and traumas. That four of swords comes after the three of swords. So that shows you took the time to heal. You took the time to go within, to reflect, and you didn't jump right back into the dating scene. You didn't jump right, right back into anything. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the six of pentacles here. So that's why you're walking away because somebody was, you know, trying to, you know, they was for the streets. They was for everybody. You know, this is somebody that wasn't really committed to you. They were kind of, you know, had their eyes everywhere. And they was definitely giving uh, to multiple people. You know, you see how she's wearing yellow and this person's wearing yellow. So they was definitely dealing with a fire sign, whomever you was um, involved with. They was giving this fire sign a lot of attention. She commanded a lot of attention. She could have been doing a little bit of, you know, witchcraft, spell work on them, domination spells on this person, making them... Um, you know, kind of like, you know, ignore and abandon you. But that's why the, 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 the uh, scales are here, because this represents justice. And that's why someone sees you as getting your just due, because I feel like you're coming out on top, because you really fully, you know, you really worked on yourself. This situation gave you clarity. It made you realize that you want more for yourself. You don't want to be someone's second option you don't want to be even a third party. You don't want to be a fourth wheel or a fifth wheel, pardon me. Um, you want someone that's going to treat you the way you deserve to be treated. But you have to first treat yourself that way. Because sitting around acting like a beggar for someone's time and energy is definitely not the jam. So you're going to get up and learn from the situation. And that's why you're getting justice. And that's why you're taking your power back by walking away from anyone or anything or why you've done that already. Um, and you're going to choose yourself every time. What we see here on the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Remember, we saw that prosperity card earlier. This is double confirmation of that. So you have offers, you have financial opportunities presenting themselves. This is stability, security. This is growth in your business. This is really expansion. I feel like I said, you know, some folks may be like uh, kind of, you know, watching you from a distance, you might have someone ready and preparing to speak to you because you see how he's pulling the sword out of the sleeve. So it's like someone is preparing to say something, preparing, and it could be an offer. Like, you know, maybe this is that contract that I was speaking of, that job offer, um, you know, that could be coming in. Uh, we have Ravina that says temptation. So something's going to be very tempta tempting, so just be mindful to use your intuition. Uh, we got the world here. Some of you all will be traveling for business. You know, some of you could be stewardists. Like you may, that's what you do. And I see victories. You're going to have a victory. Like this is a graduation card. Last card of the major arcana showing up shows that you've leveled up, that you've grown. And that's what we see here also with this personal growth. So you're more susceptible to trusting your intuition this time around and to not like trusting people's words. There goes the three of staffs, which is like, you know, planning, preparing, strategizing or manifesting something new and it materializing because you can see the boats are docking. This is going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, just a lot of peace into your life. You're seeing things clearly. I also feel like someone has a lot of passion for you. Like new love could be coming in. Someone feels like they've missed an opportunity. There's distance between you, someone emotionally, mentally, because you can see someone here off in the distance. So someone is definitely feeling like they've missed an opportunity. So what flew out is we have, look at that. We have the world card. So you're receiving um, rewards for your efforts. You got the, the ace of uh, pentacles. Wow, this is beautiful. And you have the three of staffs. Something that you have been planning, preparing, strategizing, working very diligently on is going to manifest 
opulence and abundance. It's almost like spirit is, is saying, I see everything that you've been doing. I see everything that you've been growing through. And this is why you're being offered this reward, this blessing. This is why this miracle is taking place because this is a graduation card. You re reached that level of self mastery. You've reached the deeper, more profound understanding of not only yourself, but the people in around you of the world of how to navigate the world. And that's why it always served you to plan, you know, to strategize. I just saw 34, 34, that's seven, seven, that's 14, that's five. That's the hierophant. So spirit sees that you've matured and that you've taken the time to master your craft, sharpen your sword, and more importantly, hone your skills, gifts, and talents and find your voice. And in finding your voice, you're now moving forward in a whole new direction. This uh, all breaks down to three because you have 11 and seven, that's nine plus this 21, that's three. So this is like spirit sees you as that divine feminine, the empress, or divine masculine, the emperor. So I'm going to use different decks to clarify, just as I've done for um, the actual cards in the reading. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that, four of wands. So we have this ace of cups here. We also have home and hearth. So this is a protected union is what I'm gathering also. Spirit is aligning you with someone that could be your soulmate with this four of wands here on the bottom of the deck, the ace of cups, the home and hearth. So home and hearth feels like something very familiar. This could be like a past life love. This could be someone that's returning into your life. When you meet this person, if you've never met this person, you'll feel like you've met them before. Um, this is a definite... Uh, a divine connection, spiritual partnership, union, bond, which could lead to marriage because this always makes me feel like this is a w marriage or a wedding ceremony. So let's see what we have on the split. Someone is manifesting this. You've manifested this. Remember, we saw that star earlier and I felt like you were tapping into your alchemical force. So these cards chose themselves. There goes the nine of pentacles. This is how someone sees you independent, self-sufficient, very grounded, resourceful, practical. This is the card that's going to be here for what, um, for how they feel about you. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. So let's see the cards that chose themselves. So we have the eight of swords, someone stuck in their head stressing, agonizing, overthinking, you know, this is an energy of self-imposed, ruminating, pining, because this is what you're, a uh, whom or what you're attracting to you. And with this protection, I feel like if someone is sending psychic attacks or if someone is doing like, um, some sort of, um, what do you call that? Um, sending someone like, you know, um, sending someone like, uh, psychic um it's like psychic manipulation but they call it what is that like during the witching hours so someone could be really causing someone stress and agony like you know just doing things underhanded uh see that the nine of cups someone's coming to the realization maybe this is someone trying to fight it someone trying to fight the fact that they see you as a wish fulfillment someone feeling stuck because you're you're definitely protecting your your heart you're protecting yourself you're not just as open. You're, you're fulfilled all on your own. So this could cause agony. 37, 37, 10, 10. So you've definitely have had some sort of completion of a cycle. This is like something coming full circle. 10, 10 reduces to two. So that's again, someone who's, you know, perhaps they were used to your co you know, being codependent on you, your energy. But now it's like you're protecting yourself. That body language always shows like protecting your heart. Look at that big smile. So this is the me, myself, and I card, like selfish loving you, yourself, and you as you should. And there goes the magi. So someone's manifesting you. So what you're attracting to you is something you've manifested. So you've gotten out of your head, stressing, agonizing, if this is you, and you focus more on self-love. Self-love is the best love. And as you do that, you realize and discover that you're the alchemist. And as you set your intention and tap into that alchemical force, you can manifest everything you desire. And that's why this nine of pentacles is here on the bottom of the deck, because that's how somebody sees you as someone who's getting their just due, someone who's definitely, you know, having things turn around in their favor now. And it's because you rely in on yourself. We have new addition. Is this the end here singing? So there's someone new coming in your life. There's a new addition into your life. And that's why someone uh, may be sly talking about if you want me to stay, you know, 
you know, somebody it could be definitely uh, that karmic I was picking up with that 17, that 8. I feel like they're going to get just, you know, like you're getting justice because you're coming into alignment with your twin or your soulmate, your cosmic companion, and they're watching. And they're like, damn, is this the end with Scorpio? There goes the hermit I mentioned. So this is you like really taking time to reflect, taking time to introspect, taking time to self anal, you know, do some self analysis. And someone's, you know, your your your, your silence is deafening. It's torturous to someone because you kind of pulled back. You didn't kind of, you pulled back. You went into hermit mode. And this is causing someone anguish. This is causing someone to kind of want to rush in and say something. You know, that could be why they're saying, is this the end? You know, and we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Some of you could be stressing and agonizing over money, over business, over work. But I feel like, you know, you're going to figure out a way to work through it. You're going to figure out a way to, to bring, uh, you know, to bring something into fruition. Things are going to work out in your favor. Just trust the process and always go with your intuition. Set your intentions. Speak positively over your business. I do see you all manifesting something as well. So the bottom of the deck is clarifying how someone feels about you. We have the page of cups. So someone definitely wants to offer love. I feel you have new love coming in. And this is why you have justice here. Justice is, is, you know, aligning you with new love, true love, real love, you know, absolute love. And this is something that's hidden that you don't even realize. And I feel like the more you focus on healing yourself, the, the quicker this new love can come in. And so we have the two of swords. Didn't I mention the two of swords? So this two of swords is showing that there's a decision that you're having to make. Oh, my bad. There goes the Nine of Swords. Someone's sleeping on a guilty conscience now because it says what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So it's that person that thought that, you know, they had you figured out or that they had you wrapped around their finger um, is slowly realizing that, um, you know, not so much because you were walking away. So what's on the bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. Someone slowly, you know, someone watches you because this is the second time this page is showing up. So someone definitely watches you from a distance, spies on you. And there goes this four wands. So there's definitely a secret admirer I'm feeling. This is someone that's like literally like, you know, um, watching your transformation. This person has, like I said, they, they have commitment in, on the brain. This is someone that's definitely interested in long term. This is someone that wants to be that provider. Someone that's definitely um, resourceful. Look at that. They're coming in to offer you something real, something tangible. And this is, you know, after you come out of that tough cycle with the world, after you complete that cycle, it's like this is here waiting for you. This is beautiful. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This is almost like spirit is also rewarding you for going, growing through what you've experienced. This is beautiful, Scorpios. Bottom of the deck is clarifying. It goes the five of swords. So this is what you dealt with, a lot of smug energy. You know, see how this person's wearing this, like, cloak, this hood? This was a hidden enemy. This was that sly person I was picking up on. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So this person was definitely not a, you know, they weren't a friend. They were a foe. This wasn't a lover. You know, this is someone that was definitely deceptive, had a lot of lies. But I feel like you took the time to pray. Remember, we saw um, that song by Nas, Bible. And if you look at these two people, it looks like they are, you know, praying, you know, this person has deceived not only you, but several people. This could be the other person that was involved in the third party that was betrayed by this person, you know. And this is just, you know, very counterproductive um, energy. And this is the fool here. Now someone wants to convince you that they want another start or a ch new chance. So they're trying to play you for boo-boo the fool. That's why Spirit was saying, you know, don't don't fall for the okie doke. Trust your intuition. And with this personal growth, I feel like you don't do anything anyway now without trusting your gumption, you know, without trusting what your spirit is telling you. This is also you taking that leap of faith and going on a whole new venture. That's where you're headed. You're, you're like, you know what? I'm out. I'm going to see what else is out there to offer. Um, you know, what else is out there that spirit has to offer me. Um, so let's get some messages from my deck here. We have Mary Magdalene. So there's wish fulfillments coming in when you take the leap, when you walk away, because this is the most powerful, um, 
you know, stance you could take is to walk away from what doesn't serve you, you know, because that's showing and teaching people how to treat you, you know. So let's tap in. Why is this Eight of Cups here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Then we're going to wrap it up. Thank you. So we have the number three and we have the number two. So that three is the divine feminine energy. That three represents the empress. That's also the solar plexus when you think of three. So this is you taking your power back, you know, being in your power. Look at that. You got the W. So that's to me saying win. It's saying the world, something's over. We just had the world show up, the world card. So this is the world saying that something has ended. This completion of a cycle is wrapping up. This number two deals with that uh, high priestess. So I do feel like you are... Um, definitely, you know, coming into some sort of information that you may not have known about. And that's what's making it easier for you to walk away. Because if you look up, there's like the moon is eclipsing the sun. So that means that there were lies. You know, the moon always represents something hidden, you know, and that's why you're walking away. So this three and this two is saying that there is some sort of conversation that's going to bring a lot to light some of you could be dealing with someone that could be 32 years young. Some of you could have been born on um, November 3rd, November 2nd. Uh, maybe you were born November, uh, October 30th. Um, but I'm getting a sense of like someone could be, you know, life path number three. Someone's solar return could be on the 3rd or the 2nd. Someone could be a life path number two. Um, but there's definitely a decision you're making. Remember I was saying there was a choice you're going to have to make. You're choosing yourself. You're choosing self-love and you're going to get the W, which is the win. You know, um, you're definitely over something. You're not falling for the okie doke any longer and you're not going to put up with someone's nonsense. So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload Please help support the channel and subscribe, like, and share. Uh, you know, search the new name in the search engine uh, just to get it into the algorithms. Let's help push this video into the algorithms. But thank you all to all of my beloved soul family, soul members who have been doing that already. I appreciate you and welcome to any of you that may be new. I say infinite love and light. I do offer uh, consultations, so if you are interested in booking with me, you can go ahead into the description box, click the link below, and it'll take you to my shop. All right. Thank you so much. Peace.